And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Grifter's Fate, our second Allegiance deck. We're just uh, having an Allegiance day today, you know, doing something a little different, playing some, playing four um, Allegiance cards that don't see very much play. Um, this one's going to be Yorl Grifter. Back in the day, Yorl Grifter, um, whenever it came out, whenever Rising Tides expansion came out, there was lots of Yorl Grifter decks everywhere and it was you would always get the warning shot and then if you hit the allegiance you got to nab one also um so you could play your old grifter in decks that you know even had like 20 20 splits and stuff but now you need the, to hit the allegiance to be able to get your warning shot and your nab on and we're gonna be uh trying that out here with um a bilge water deck all right so we're splashing for our splash region we're gonna have piltover and zon because I want um, Aftershock these days dealing three damage to champions. Very important. Lots of three health champions everywhere or smaller. You know, whether it's, you know, like Fizz, which, you know, this doesn't really work with Fizz. But just kind of looking here, like Fizz, Ezreal, Misfortune. Lots of people play those. Um, Jinx, very popular. But then you have, you know, Twisted Fate, Aphelios, mostly Aphelios here. Um, you know, Draven, uh, all sorts of champions you just got to gotta kill. Plus, there's still like the landmarks. Like a lot of people are playing the Veiled Temple, which is a, a great new landmark. Some people still play Grand Plaza. So it's nice having that um, ability to destroy landmarks too. So we're playing that. And then we're also going to play a Terrative Improvement in here. Because I thought that could be pretty cool with these nab cards. Because, you know, we're going to have Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods, Yordle Grifter. We're going to be nabbing a bunch. And nab, nab is really good against Targon, right? Because Targon's cards are pretty broken. So being able to take their broken cards... That's pretty nice. And so we're going to have nab stuff. And so I thought like a Terrative Improvement plus Yordle Grifter could be really cool. You know, or a Terrative Improvement plus Black Market Merchant. Also really cool. Get the cost reduction even more. So we're going to try that. Um, also, but uh, also because of the these champions that we got to kill, like I was talking about, I'm playing the full three Boxtopus and the three, full three Jaw Hunters because I just want to be able to challenge these different champions and try to take them down. So we got all of those. Um, let's see. That's kind of about it. Um, we're we're going to try good old Riptide Rex. It's been a while since since uh, people, we've played Riptide Rex. So we're going to see how, how this card's doing these days. I'm, I don't think people are going to be expecting Riptide Rex too much. So maybe we can catch some people off guard and, you know, have some cool Cannon Barrage stuff. We'll try that out. Maybe if, like, one Riptide Rex isn't good enough, we'll, like, improvement and get another one. <laughs> you, know, you know, who knows? All right, but anyway, that's what we got. We got six one drops in here also to help try to turn on the plunder. Um, hired gun, also important, because lots of ballistic bots running around too. So I felt like Jaw Hunter's box to post could be good against like the ballistic bots and Eye of the Dragons and things like that. And maybe hired gun, give them some vulnerable. But let's, let's give it a try. So Grifter's Fate. Karma Ezreal. This deck's becoming a little bit more popular. It's like the second time this week I've played against it. Um, Nab should be good against Karma Ezreal. We, uh, Boxypus actually, we'll keep Boxypus. It can it can challenge either of those champions or Eye of the Dragon. Um, it can kind of annoy him a little bit. Like maybe it gets Mystic Shot, but that's still just like trading two mana for two mana. So basically, what I don't... Okay, if I do not play Boxtopus, I would prefer not to play it. I would prefer to just go to attacks and hit them for two, and then next turn play Bert Merchant and Pilfer Goods. That's best case scenario. But if we go to next turn and attack and just attack for two and they Mystic Shot, and I don't deal damage, then it's like, then what do I do? So if I just play Boxtopus right now... I'm still good to while it's likely they just kill the Boxtopus, it... It's more likely that my Jagged Butcher hits them and that we turn on Plunder by playing the Boxtopus. Okay, and they both just hit him. Looks like I'm ready. Bye -bye. Don't talk a cost. So of course Static Shock is a card I don't want to see. Walking is strange. So I kind of want to block here because of Static Shock. Poor thing. 
No, I'll just walk here. It's just better to have box plus. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Eyes open. Blue card. All right, so the good news is our um, our Yordle Grifter should be hitting, <laughs> right? We've drawn three of our PNZ cards, so it's kind of good to draw those PNZ cards. They're not on top of the deck for Yordle Grifter, so that's kind of good. I don't know. I could just play this Tasty Faithful first. I, I am scared of just Static Shock. Kill both of those, right? Kind of scared of that. I don't know. Concussive Palm, you know, isn't necessarily the best for me. Yeah, that's not necessarily the best. Gather round, gather round. You cannot win. That was Will of Ionia. Okay. That's still not, not that bad of a turn for me, though. Fresh is worth least twice as much. Yuck. Tear the Tide's worst sea monster. You'd think the most expensive one would be the best one. That is not the case. Not the best cards. Okay, I like the deny. Do I look like a patient man? Ooh, that's good. That's not bad. Basically, like using Even Nopify, you, you know that that card was basically Nopify help, on my aftershock, so they didn't even need like all four mana for deny. Ooh. The world's a big place. Let's see all. Where are you at? You're at five. Okay, so they only need one target, and then that thing levels up. So I know I can go warding shot, rip tide Rex, get six cannon barrages. I think I want to just do this though. Wow, okay. That was a surprise. Because all I needed was just one one target. Yeah, that was a surprise. And then that would have leveled up, and then that would have been four. Even at war, you remain so calm. Would panicking help, brother? Okay. Let's see. All right, there we go. <laughs> they have just like their couple of cards in hand. Uh, we have a ton. Nabbed all their stuff. That'll do. Oh no. Twisted Aphelios. Fun's over. Well, all, all good cards, but we probably can't do nothing the first few turns and then, you know, like wait till turn four to do something. 
but these are all good cards. Let's just mulligan one Twisted Fate. And hopefully draw some things to do before that, I guess. I guess we're gonna have all four mana cards today. How many four mana cards do we play? Nine? Yeah. We have Twisted Fate, Yoro Grifter, and Aftershock. We have three each. So we have nine four, four mana cards. So we've already seen 55, you know, if you, with counting that other Twisted Fate, we've already seen 55% of our four mana cards. for them too. So I just don't have any opportunity to play much of anything. So just wasted a whole bunch of mana. So right now, I would be wasting three more mana if we don't do anything, but we're even on cards. Definitely considering just passing. No, I shouldn't pass. I'm not greedy. My friends though. I didn't really like just playing a Twisted Fate into them playing a Twisted Fate. Like, blue card, I already have, like, the mana. Um, I know that, like, as far as leveling up Twisted Fate, it's good to play this first and then play these other things, but... That was kind of the problem, is couldn't do anything and then also Aftershock this. Yeah, Hush is okay. We'll see. It doesn't... It's not great against their two champions, but, you know, they get some kind of big celestial thing, you know, maybe something that we need. Like a fish in water. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go twist a fake goal card. Feel me in. Oh, that killed the glitter. Cool. And with Pale Cascade being a thing, I don't think I attack with Twisted Fate into Solari Priestess Pale Cascade. Silence that with Hush. I could just play another one. As darkness falls, the moon rises. So I think I need to aftershock this Aphelios, but we could aftershock the Boxtopus, thinking that my Boxtopus could challenge their Aphelio, you know, like open attack challenge. Um, and then try to keep this Twisted Fate alive, because it's, I mean, it's only at one. Next turn will be two, you know, it's a long ways away. I, I think we just kill Aphelios while we can. Oh yeah, that's true. They're probably getting the 3-4 box to post. That's probably what they're getting. I was thinking that they're gonna they got the card that was gonna do two damage, but yeah, you're right. I bet they I bet they probably got the moon weapon to get a three four box to post. Yeah. So they'll be killing of my twisted fates either way. Devotion through battle. There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. Where are you off to? I was a really bad turn this turn. Because I, I think I need to save the warning shot for next turn. Well, my corpse is 
Maybe I just have to play this thing. But I, I wish I had one more mana for next turn so I could, you know, Warning Shot, Riptide Rex, and Pilfer Goods. I'm always up for a round or two. Well, that's pretty good. I'm a people person. <laughs> Their bones are splintered. Believe or burn. Still, the Riptide Rex is looking pretty nice. <laughs> I would not wish a 3-4 box to put on my worst enemy. Yeah, 3-4 Challenger is is a 4-mana card, right? Because, like, you know, 3-4 is uh, Loyal Badger Bear is a 3-4 at 3 mana, and that's, like, the big 3-drop. And so if you, if you tack on Challenger on that, that's a 4-mana card. So Aphelios just spends... You can just spend 2 spell mana... And for free, get a four mana unit. You know, good four mana unit for just two spell mana. Only two going at, only two of the four going at Aphelios, or two of the six. Really wish that was more than just two. They can have like a Bastion or something like that and save it. Okay, so they'd rather save Twisted Fate. Oh wait, that doesn't even save Twisted Fate. Because that's... Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Well, how about that? Riptide Rex just killed two champions and got two, two spells worth six mana out of their hand. I'd say it's a pretty good card if it does all that. Spilled paint is just accidental art. All right, we gotta find another way to turn on plunder. Need that mana back. Fell into him. All right, thanks, M. Thor, for the donation deck. Looks like I may just have to just nab one card from them. Their cards are are all pretty awesome. You know, like if we hit the right card, if we hit a Solari Priestess or a Star Shaping or something like that, it, it'll be a good, you know, good nab. But I prefer to try to wait to try to get the two cards, but it looks like we maybe have to just get the one. Just a sense of good devour. There we go. That's good devour. But that was a really good purple fish. Perfect. Ooh. Veil 
build a temple. So if I if I don't play Riptide Rex this turn. So I go Veil Temple. And then Pilfered Goods, and then I'm at three mana. Or I guess I go Veil Temple and then Sprayfin. And then Pilfered Goods. And then I got two mana left again. Ooh, a Terrative Improvement. So I go at... Yeah, we'll just wait on a Terrative Improvement. All these cards are great, you know, besides, like, probably, like, Spaces Catcher, the worst one, but, like, all these can be awesome a Terrative Improvement cards, right? Even Devour, Traveler, you know, the, the Priest, like, these are all good quality a Terrative Improvement cards. Um, Wiggly Burblefish isn't bad. Okay, I'm just gonna pass. They, they're, I think they're scared of my challengers with their Twisted Fate. Aphelios, we know, you know, one, this is either Twisted Fate or Aphelios. So what, we've killed two Aphelios, one Twisted Fate so far? Why no attack? So they don't get to. So they don't get to spend their. They don't get to play like. I. I didn't want them to like be able to play the champion with their extra mana there that they weren't using, and and then untap and have all this mana with their champion. Okay, so it was twisted fate. Soak it in. I hope that we make a parlay, like they did. You've been warned. I'm eight away from deep right now. Alright, am I copying? What am I copying? Sprayfin, Traveler. Maybe Traveler. That's probably the best card. Man, I have to behold a Celestial card for this Cosmic Rays. Otherwise, that would be awesome. Cosmic Rays would be perfect here. Especially, like, you know, next turn pair with Hush. Like, we Hush the Twisted Fate Cosmic Rays. Get rid of all of them. That's why Nav's pretty good. We just take their deck. <laughs> Their deck's pretty solid. Clear up three things. Two things. Giving them, you know, this gives them a chance maybe they play another champion. And we can e Ben Warren that champion. If not, you know, not like these are both pretty decent cards to e Ben Warren. Alright, so they're getting another elusive. Should probably you been warned and elusive. Oh, that's true. I have, I have the I have this thing for the cosmic rays. Yeah, that's true. The cosmic rays. I would have had the traveler. I am the traveler. Is 
I think it's working out. I think that that um, you know, I think it's I think it's working out. It's fine. We got rid of the twist of fate right away, so that was nice. Are, they, are we going to run them out of cards? They have four cards left. We may run them out of cards. Is that like the great part about NAB right now? Is you you just, like, they have so much card draw that you just run them out? Ooh. Yeah, pick a card. Go for it. Draw three more. Draw three more. Go for it. Yeah, I think that's I think that's our game plan. Just run them out of cards. Ooh, Bastion's pretty good. So they're down to four cards right now, and they're they're drawing four cards at the beginning of the next turn. Let's do this. Those are both things that are happening. Yeah, they they just don't they're not gonna have the cards. That's game. Yeah, Nab, Nab seems really good against their deck, right? Because all their cards are amazing. And so, like, we just always had all, all these amazing cards because we were just taking their cards. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, kind of... Maybe maybe Nab's really good here. Because you just keep on taking their cards, taking their spray fins and purple fishes and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we got something here with this Nab. Let's just go with this. Please no turn one Zoe. Right, like just don't play Zoe. Pass turn. Pass. 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 No. It's going to take me a minute to try to kill this Zoe. And they pass priority to me. So I think they have a feel like they probably have a Felios, right? Like should I be willing to pass and they don't attack? I think so. Okay. Broken. Ugh. My card that's supposed to kill Aphelios, I don't get to. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Could definitely see them having Equinox. Bask in her radiant blessing. Did they get the deal four, deal one? I guess if they if they do that, we kill Zoe. Never lost a fair game or played one. Who says I don't? Shoot? All right, kill Zoe. Even if they have deal four, deal one, which is the worst case scenario, we killed Zoe at least. Still paint is just accidental art. Ooh, there goes a box to puss. Like, so they had two mana. They could have simply just played Box to Post to challenge Twisted Fate, and they decided to do this instead. Wow. Both Box to Post gone. Okay, they found that thing. Yeah, so I mean, they, they just turned Box to Post into two ones. Like, that's. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad trade for me. It's. It's, you know, the same thing. All right, let me keep the four one. Yeah, you 
don't want to cross me. This guiding touch can go well with my box to buzz. So these are all these three are all fleeting cards. They forced us to choose death or the blade. That's a spicy one. I'm always up for a round or two. We know they have a moon weapon. The moon weapon maybe just goes and gets a, a three four box to puss. That'd be their last box to puss if that's their moon weapon. <laughs> the fall of the one ones. Ugh. Yuck. Can't do can't deal with that card. There's plenty of killing left. Pablo's been down, but his knee out. Hmm. I should be casting this iterative improvement right now on the Yorl Grifter. Okay, yeah, it's the, they did have this. Yeah, I should I should just be casting this right now. Yeah, they don't have any two drops left because they drew the last one. So they drew all three of them. Good news, they're down to two cards. Why is this one one attacking? Ever consider a henching Okay, so my, my plan here is to have the leveled up gangplank. With this thing. But of course, we don't know what they just grabbed. Okay. It was that card. Alright, well, well. Yeah, I can, I can sacrifice that. So six damage, puts him to seven. Is that really what I want to do, though? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Ooh. I bear a message from... Oh, hey, what's that? I always like a good old nab. See you, Zoe. Boo moon weapons. Whoa. Three to that thing and not Boxtopus. Interesting. Okay, so they just put a bunch of messengers in their deck that I can go nab. Kind of cool. From darkness, light. 
Sure. I don't really know why they don't wait on that, because now they're only going to have one card next turn. They're not going to make another moon weapon at the beginning of the turn. So, yeah, I'm not really sure why they're not waiting on that. Black, black, black Market Merchant, I'm happy about that. We can we can get the thing that does 3 damage also to kill the Trapola. I'm not greedy. My friends don't. That was just in their deck? Oh, because... Twisted Fate, pick a card? How was this in their deck? Had to have been pick a card, right? I guess I should have done this first, but th they all cost zero anyway. Yeah, all your cards are pretty awesome, opponent. I like them. Thanks for all the good cards. I appreciate appreciate you, pal. Dude, Nab is sweet. <laughs> Nab's pretty sweet against these Aphelios decks. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty awesome against Aphelios. Two Aphelios decks in a row that we just run them out of cards. I think we figured it out. Figured out what to do against Aphelios. Play Nab. Nab all their cards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, all your cards are broken? Well, well I won't. <laughs> like, send them over here and, and make them cheaper also. You know, like with Black Market Merchant. It's like... Oh, your all your cards are way too good. Well, let's just make them cheaper, and 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 send them over here. Fortunately, no Targon cards for me to nab. I think it's maybe a little. I don't know. Jaw Hunters maybe a little easier for them to to kill. Um, I. Even though, you know, like, Jaw Hunters is good against Ezreal and Twisted Fate as far as, you know, if we could actually challenge to them. Um, maybe I just keep a Gangplank. You know, like, a 5-5 five five is pretty big. But I'm going to just send them. I'm going to just send those back. <clears throat> Let's see what happens here. They could go w wide with like wiggly burble fishes, and then we riptide rex and do one cannon barrage on each burble fish and spray fin and just blow up their whole board. That would be cool. Ah, What's up, Biz? I'm Krusty Codger. I mean, I, I think they have, like, Mystic Shot and that kind of stuff, right? Like, so if I just play Jaw Hunters, they're just, they just Mystic Shot Jaw Hunters. Where... Yeah. Where, like, maybe I was forced them to Mystic Shot these things. And then if they play Ezreal after combat... Like, I was kind of thinking they go, like, Mystic Shot and then, like, Ezreal after combat, then we'd Aftershock that. I still just pass. I don't... I don't give them... Red card... Jaw Hunters, I don't think. The card's cool.
Just two mana. I guess I'm playing this one. No. Let's play Hunters, because we could get could get Devour Depths and maybe we want to go Devour Depths next turn. Ooh. Didn't kill it yet. That probably doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. Can you improve perfection? All right, so we can just rummage away this beast below, and and we could probably just rummage, rummage away the ignition also. Maybe look for an elusive blocker or something. Plank higher gun. I wish I could wait for Wiggly Burblefish and see if they did have Wiggly Burblefish and then kill it, but I can't. I don't think I can. No! Fortunately, they do. I played. I think I. I, th I just played too cautiously this whole time. Basically, you know, like I. I didn't get good use out of my jaw hunters and box to post and stuff. I played too cautiously this game. I should have thrown my things into removal. I. I didn't want to, but that's what I had to do. Been down. Let his knee out. Yeah. They have them all. Good hand. Very good suit up. GGS. Alright, Shadow, Isles, and PNZ. So not Targon. It is an Ezreal deck. Ezreal decks usually play tons of removal. And so tons of removal good for nab cards. And I want to keep the warning shot for nab cards. That's definitely what I wanted to draw here was nab cards. The Boxtopus can match up against um, Elise on turn two. So yeah, I Definitely think I played that last one too cautiously. Come on, play your lease. Ballistic Bond? Alright, that'll do. Let me challenge. Dump Thermogenic Beam. No, let me challenge. Oh, Go Hard's even worse. I am not a good Go Hard deck. Or, like, not a good deck to, you know, play against Go Hard. We have a lot of one health things. And also, I, I don't want to nab Gohards either. <laughs> you know, so like this is... Because <clears throat> I don't want Gohards in my deck. Yeah, we can nab Packer Bags. That's true. And just nab pack your bags. There's always fight an eight punch pop. That's true. Alright, so they had a stress testing. Anything else? <laughs> I am considering just challenging the ballistic bot with my hired gun. So that Twisted Fate red card would then take out both of these. Like next turn, Twisted Fate red card. No. But yeah, that's... <clears throat> of course, that's the problem with just attacking with the box twist, though. Oh! 
Shuttle has been down! There is no out! System upgrade! Cool. Destiny awaits! Yes. No, go back. Attack. Attack with that. Do it. Yeah. All right, that's a good twisted card. Twisted bait. Good red card. I'm a people person. Good red card. So the red card, I can I can cast the pill for goods right now, but I just might as well wait. You know, I can just save the three spell mana and wait for Black Market Merchant next turn. Um, let's just play this game. Now that's what's up. <laughs> I can play all three of these. Gonna get our nav on. Investigating officer, unit six. We you got Mile Feast. Yuck. I want that card. I have something better than that. I never disclose my sources. <clears throat> hmm. Do I want to use my last pill for goods or save it? Maybe I save it for pack your bags. They should be able to go through their deck pretty quickly. I'm, I'm a little worried about Withering Whale now, also from their side, as far as playing this Urchin goes. I guess it just draws a card. Nah, nah, nah. Hmm. Alright, pass. Do I need the cost reduction? You weren't using it. Oh. Still costs one mana for this iterative improvement. I really want it on the merchant. But we'll be able to find something else. Got me good. I mean, I maybe should just take this insightful investigator. You know, have this one copy Insightful Investigator. And then we can, like, improve it and get, like, another Insightful Investigator. Man, it's only turn seven? I feel like we've both played, like, a million cards. <laughs> that was only turn six. Don't blink or you miss me. One shot, all skill. Me. And that would mean firing. I'm so good, I surprised myself. Never lost a fair game. I'll play one. Need to kill Insightful Investigator. Yes, of course. Humanity is obsolete. Hope they can't cast this fleeting card. No, they can. Yuck. Yuck. Now their next one's pack your bags. Yeah, maybe I should've just waited forever on those. Yeah, maybe I really should've just waited on those nav cards. It's a weird, weird matchup. Looks like I needed to wait. First day on the job, the gun's real. 
Safety disengaged. Join me if you want to live. Doesn't look good for me. Aha, follow the trail. Okay, so I yeah, that was that was just a really weird matchup, right? And um, I just played all my nab cards too early. I really didn't have to play them when I did. Um, that's what I should have done. I should have just been a lot more patient, um, held more removal for Ezreal. I didn't really have removal. All I had were just a whole bunch of box to post. But I didn't need to play the higher gun when I did. Yeah, that was that was just kind of a weird game. But I think I should have sat back and not not played as much stuff. I think I I think that's what I did wrong was just play too much stuff there. But anyway, um, I was really impressed with this deck and just really impressed with Nab, um, like the Nab against the uh, against those Aphelios decks was really impressive. You know, we uh, just basically outlasted two Aphelios decks, which is really difficult to do because we kept on nabbing their cards and their cards were really strong. And then we make their really strong cards cost less mana because of Black Market Merchant. And that worked out really well for us. Iterative improvement was awesome in this deck, being able to copy Merchant and Grifter and stuff like that. And of course, we needed Aftershock, we needed that removal. And so that was really important too. Riptide Rex looked pretty decent. Um, yeah, it looked pretty decent, and our challengers were okay. Um, maybe, maybe we wouldn't need Hired Gun kind of going forward. Um, maybe that could be something else. I don't want Sprayfin in here. I think that there's, I think we saw that like you can get, you can get too many fours. I just don't, I don't think you can play another four. So even though Sprayfin of course is, is a card you would normally really want, especially with improvement. Um, I think that this, I, I just don't think you can really play it. I don't think you can play another four. Really we would want like another PNZ card, you know, like Mystic Shot, like instead of the higher gun. But you just can't, you know, like, it, you can't play too many PNZ cards. But anyway, that's it here for Grifter's Fate. Nice showing there. Another positive record. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know. How do you, what do you think about NAB? Is NAB the answer to Aphelios? Um, you know, leave those comments. Let me know. Um, yeah, what do you think? All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.